Girls. Okay, sorry if the lighting is strange or weird and I'm looking up in a different direction because I'm looking up at the viewfinder. My camera is in a different spot than usual. Let me know if you like this angle and lighting better than my usual content. I don't know, I just threw up different lighting and stuff just so I could film this video. It is the end of the day on my birthday. It is 9.30 at night and I just figured while I still had my makeup on and everything, I would just go ahead and film my what I got for my birthday haul. So if you want to see my birthday vlog, I will link it on the screen. If it's not up yet, it will be up or I might post it before I post this. Either way, you guys will see both of these videos. So yeah, let's go ahead and get on into my birthday gifts from 2017 of my 25th birthday. Okay, so first things first, I will show what I got from my sister and her family. Uh, she got me this little card that says that you're not just a sister to me. And then on the inside, it says that you're one of my favorite people to hang around with. And it says, hope your birthday is really happy. And then she gave me this little bag of goodies right here. Uh, she knows I've been obsessed with tea lately, so she got me this little herbal tea sample set. There is chamomile, lemon zinger, peppermint, honey vanilla chamomile, and sleepy time tea. So these are all the little flavors. I'm excited to try these out. And then to go with that, she got me a coffee cup, like a little tea mug that I can use as a travel one that I can take to work with me. And it just says, hello, lovely. And then it has a little top right here that you can kind of open and close so it doesn't spill, which is great. And then this is also removable, so you can just use it as a regular mug when you're at home making hot cocoa or tea or whatever. So that is really cute. And then she also got me this little white teapot and I kind of want to put like a really cute little decal on it or something like maybe a pink like my melody decal or something I could get off of eBay or whatever um, but it just looks like this just a cute little teapot and then she got me this Aeropostale shirt it's pink, says Arrow NYC. And then the last thing she got me are these macaron loofahs. They're just little loofahs that you would use in the shower, but they're macarons, which is perfect because I work at a bakery and we actually make cakes, cupcakes, and macarons. So this is very cute. I can't wait. I'm obsessed with this little pink one right here. This is one of those items where it's like, I don't want to use it. I just want to like look at it and display it. They're just so cute. I love it. I have no idea where she got these. France's favorite cookie, set of three sponges. Love to lather. Oh, it's Bath and Body Works. What the heck? How did I not know that they had this? Okay, so this is Bath and Body Works. Bath and Body Works, your game is up with these macaron loofahs. Ah, cool. I'll have to text her and be like, I had no idea that that was Bath and Body Works because if I would have saw these there, I probably would have bought them myself. And she knows that, so that's probably why she bought them for me. But they're so cute. So that is everything from my sister and her little family and all my nieces and stuff. My batteries on my camera are all wanting to die at the same time, so let's hope that I can get through this here. Uh, my fiance got me, I can't really show you because it's on my bed, but he got me a queen-sized heated blanket and it warms up so quick and I am obsessed with it already. And it does have like an auto timer shut off and I'm not going to be sleeping with this on. I will only be using this when I am home and when I am awake, 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 I am cautious of everything. Uh, okay, moving on. I'm talking too much. Let's move on to the next thing. He also got me, I also asked for this because he's just kind of clueless. He's, he's more of the type of person who will just ask me what I want and then just get me what I ask for because it's not that he's lazy or anything like that. It's just that he... <laughs> He has a hard time shopping for me because he feels like I already have everything I need or I want and everything and he feels like maybe he'll do a bad job picking stuff out and over the past years, I mean we've been together almost nine years, so over the past like two or three years during Christmas and birthdays and all of that stuff, we'll usually just like text each other links to stuff online that we want and then we'll just buy it for each other because we know that the other person's going to like it and they're going to use it. 
getting off of that tangent, let's just move on, okay? He got me this little teapot. This is actually a tea kettle. Um, teapot looks like this. Tea kettle looks like this. So yeah, I've been obsessed with drinking tea lately. And I had sent him the link to this one on eBay. And if you guys follow my personal Instagram account, you might have seen when I actually posted this. But this is, if you guys wanted to know, it is like $50 or $60, I believe, on eBay. And it is so cute. I'm obsessed with it. It is the, a whistling tea kettle. So it does whistle. And it just looks like a big old cupcake. And this is literally me. I am so obsessed with this. I love it so much. It's so good. My sister was saying that the front looks like a pig snout because there's two holes. And yeah, it just looks like this. It's so cute. There's a little cherry on top for the lid. And then the lid just pops off like so. It doesn't screw on or anything. And then there is the inside with like the little kind of directions on like how to clean it and how to store it and what to do and what not to do and all that fun stuff but not only is it just usable and working it's also kind of a novelty little display that I can put in the kitchen which is so 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 cute I love it so there were three things that my mom got me well, four things actually. There were three like physical things. The first are these uh, birthday cake Oreos. She knows I love Oreos. I love Funfetti cake. That's like my favorite cake flavor. Leave a comment down below of what your favorite flavor of cake is and also what your favorite Oreo is. I loved the new cookie butter ones, but I think they recently took them off the shelf because they were only limited time or something like that. But these are birthday cake ones, so those are going to be scrumptious, and I'm excited about those. And then she got me this beautiful, I need to do some research on this because I'm not 100% sure, like, if this is an antique or if it's worth a lot of money. Like I said, if it is, cool. If she got it at a thrift store, cool. I'm all about that, but I want to know, like the brand of this and if it's like a true antique or something I need to do some research on it but it is this beautiful plate and it says happy birthday and it has gorgeous roses on it and it gives me kind of like a shabby chic vintage vibe which I love but here is the little stamp on the back I'm not sure if this little number code right here is like the make or model or whatever so I don't really know a lot about china and dishware and things like that that are antique or vintage so I'm excited to kind of research a little bit and look into this if you guys know of any like websites where I can can kind of research this a little bit and program in the item number and all of that stuff um, let me know because I don't have a box or anything with it other than just the plate itself I'm pretty sure she managed to score this at a thrift store which is amazing I love thrift shopping because you can find so many good things there I highly recommend going thrift shopping to like anybody because you can always find such good deals and if she got this and it's like worth a lot of money and she got a huge deal on it I'd like to know because that's so cool and I'm sure she would be she would like to know as well so if you know anything about things like this please let me know in the comments down below where I can go to kind of research this or have this looked at because I'm pretty ignorant when it comes to things like that I want to learn more about it though especially since I'm getting into tea and tea sets and things like that okay and then the last thing she got me is this a beautiful little gold jewelry box and it looks like this it says my daughter i love you today tomorrow and always and it plays you are so beautiful you know like the, the little rascals one you are so beautiful to me it plays that when you wind it up anyway it's really cute and then it also came with the lid here and the top is engraved with my name it says Amanda right there. My birth name is Amanda, but I go by Manda, like to all my friends, to my family, my social media, everything's Manda, but she had it engraved Amanda. And then that just kind of sits on top like so. 
and it is very gorgeous. I can't wait for when I have like my own place or something to set this out, kind of like on the mantle by a fireplace or just have it set out somewhere really pretty. But for now, I think I'm just gonna set it in my room somewhere. So the very last thing that my mom got me, you guys know she actually bought me a two-person flight in like a little tiny plane circling our city and just kind of the location in general, like a little tour. And it was really cool. I finally did that with my fiance. Um what was it like a year or two ago I think it was and it was really fun it was really cool and I know a lot of you guys are probably thinking well why didn't you take your mom with you my mom hates being in airplanes she hates when we travel like if we were to go to Nevada or California or something she's not a big fan of airplanes she'll fly she doesn't like have a fear of it or anything like that but it's just not like her her form of recreational hobby you know like it's it's not her favorite thing to do so she told me to take my fiance instead because he had never flown before and i really wanted him to experience flying kind of in a more kind of intimate environment rather than just like a big old plane first off so we went into like this little puddle jumper plane and we toured everywhere and it was really cool it was as if it were a helicopter ride and it was really unique and a fun experience so my mom got me that a few years back and lately I have been talking about wanting to go skydiving I wanted to go skydiving so bad I have for quite a while my ex-boyfriend that I had as a boyfriend before Alan, uh, so many, many moons ago, he was actually a skydiver and his parents met while skydiving. And he told me that I could go skydiving when I turned 18 and he would take me and everything. Well, our relationship didn't last until I was 18. We ended up breaking up when I was like 16 and you have to be 18 in order to skydive. So I was like, okay, well, that dream's kind of shot. So I didn't end up doing that, but I still always wanted to go skydiving. It's always been kind of like a dream of mine to go. It's one of those things where it's like you're so nervous, but you want to do it just for the experience and just to say that you did it and just to overcome your fear and stuff. And for me, it's not really a fear. Like, I love flying. It's one of my favorite things in the whole entire world. Like, I feel so passionate when I'm flying, so I feel like skydiving would be like stepping up the game you know rather than just flying it's like you're jumping out of a plane you know and um when I did when I went to my cousin's wedding over the summer and she was talking to my mom and I about how she went skydiving all of the time with her husband and they had been like five or six times and there's a location about like an hour and a half away from me that does it and so for my birthday my mom got me a skydiving gift certificate gift card thing it's like a voucher for me to be able to go skydiving and here's the thing it's it's valid for one person so it's not like I can take someone else with me and it's already paid for. I would have to pay for them separately or they'd have to pay for themselves. And here's the thing with skydiving. When you are skydiving for the first time yourself, you do not jump out of the plane by yourself you are strapped to an instructor. And so basically they are risking their life to jump out of the plane with you. And before you go and jump out of the plane, you have to go through like an hour or so of training just at the location itself, like on the ground and everything. They have to go through and train you and teach you all these steps and what straps go where and what to do if this happens, what to do if that happens, all the safety regulations and all of that. And then you have to sign a waiver saying that you give consent to them strapping you up and jumping out of the plane and all that stuff. So, um, my heart is racing like a thousand miles an hour because I'd always talked about going skydiving, but I'd always been so nervous too. And here's the thing is like, I want to go so bad, but it's like, I also want someone to go with me so I can share the experience with them. And Alan's too scared, and also they have height and weight restrictions um, through this location. I don't know if they do with other locations, but I think that has a lot to do with because you're strapped to an instructor. There's obviously going to be regulations that get, like, including height and weight and all that stuff because 
you know, you're going to be strapped to somebody. It might be awkward if you're too tall or whatever, you know, just things like that. It's, it's, it makes sense. It's not one of those things like they're discriminating or anything like that. No, it's like a safety precaution. It totally makes sense. And Alan does not fit into those guidelines. So even if he wanted to do it, he couldn't, which sucks. But at the same time, I also feel like it's going to be one of those invigorating experiences that I kind of want to just do on my own, you know, just literally jump out of a plane by myself. And like I said, I'll be strapped to an instructor and a professional, someone who does this on a daily basis, but it's still like, whoa, you know what I mean? To go out of my comfort zone and do this is going to be so cool. And I know that this location that does it actually has an additional package that you can add on where someone will jump out of the plane next to you at the same time with a GoPro strapped to their head, like someone who works there and they're professional and everything. And they will record everything with their little GoPro camera strapped to their head. And then you can like buy the footage or whatever from them and then put it up on YouTube or on Facebook or wherever you want to put it. So that's what I will be doing <laughs> when I eventually do this. The little gift certificate or what is this called? Yeah, gift card. It's a little gift card and it will be valid for one year. So it expires next December and the they allow jumps between March and October. So they open in March, close in October because obviously they don't want you jumping out in the middle of a blizzard or something like that. So I'll probably be going when it's warm. Um, I want to say probably late spring or late summer. So then it's not like too hot because I'm going to be wearing a lot of gear and all that stuff. There's a whole lot of like... I gotta do lots of research before I actually just dive into this because I want to go into it with knowledge. I don't want to, I kind of want to go into it just like whew, clean slate, knowing nothing, but at the same time, I want to like do a little bit of research and know a little bit about it. So if you've ever been skydiving before, let me know what your experience was like. I genuinely want to know. Let me know in the comments down below. Tell me how did it go? What was the process like? How much training did you get before you jumped? Did you jump by yourself? Did you jump with a loved one or a family member? Did, do you have the video? Send me the link to the video of you doing it. Like, I'm so excited about this and it's just crazy because it's like I'm going so much out of my comfort zone lately and it's just so overwhelming but super exciting at the same time. And I encourage anyone and everyone to obviously take precaution and be safe about whatever it is, but go out of your comfort zone, experience new things that you've always wanted to try, but were just too scared to, you know, do just, oh, just do things. As long as you're not hurting yourself or anyone else in the process, do it because you just, you get out of your comfort zone and then you feel so proud and just, excited for yourself that you've took another step in your life and even though that this is <laughs> this is something that's just like <sighs> to me like this is something that's been on my bucket list since I was like five <laughs> it's like but I just always kept putting it on the back burner and kept putting it on the back burner because it's just like no one's gonna go with me I'm gonna have to go by myself it's like what's the fun in going by myself but I've talked to many people and I've heard more positive experiences than negative experiences when it comes to skydiving and I'm very interested and excited and I can't believe I'm actually going to be doing it and I will be vlogging the entire thing and I will pay for the extra package to get the video footage and everything. So you guys will see that next year. Obviously they're closed right now so I'm not going to go like tomorrow or anything like that but um, it also gives me a few months to kind of process and do research and kind of read your guys' responses and everything and I'm very excited and I've kind of talked too much <laughs> so I'm gonna go ahead and let you guys go. Leave me all of your opinions, experiences, comments, questions, everything in the description, or in the comments, not the description. Leave all your comments in the description box. Uh, <laughs> leave all your descriptions in the comment box, guys. All right, with that, I'm gonna go ahead and go. It's like 10 o'clock at night. I've been filming for like 45 minutes now. Um, I'm gonna go. Uh, <laughs> and thank you guys so, so much. I just wanna, I posted this on Instagram, but I just wanna seriously say, a genuine thank you for supporting me over this this last year specifically but you know however long you've been following me I 
genuinely, genuinely appreciate the support more than you even know. And I have grown so much over the past year than I can even comprehend. I've gone out of my comfort zone several times. I've made my dreams become reality. I've done so much and grown so much as a person. And I'm so excited to kind of share part of my journey with you guys and hopefully motivate you guys that if you ever have any doubt in yourself or you ever feel like your dreams will never come true, obviously if you don't chase them and you don't make them come true, they're not going to come true. Don't sit around waiting for something to happen. Make something happen. And this... Oh, I'm so grateful and thankful for everybody who's been a part of my life this past year just in itself I've grown so much as a person and I could not be more thankful and more appreciative and happier I feel very comfortable with my life right now um, I obviously there's bumps in the road and I have bad days and I have very bad emotional days and times in my life and there's crappy things that happen but at the end of the day I'm definitely appreciative of the good instances because if we didn't have the bad we couldn't appreciate the good so always keep that in mind try to keep a positive mindset no matter what's going on in your life and don't dwell on the negativity for too long because it could really eat you and it's not healthy Anyway, I'm going to go ahead and go. I'm going to put all this stuff away and get to bed because I have to work tomorrow. And with that, I will talk to you all in my next video, whenever that may be. And uh, yeah, just thank you again for being on this little journey with me. And I love you and I appreciate you. And yeah, so until next time, so long, stay strong, stay true, and be you.